Hi, my name is Tiffany Sue Ingram. It's so nice to meet you. I'm happy for this opportunity to tell you a bit about myself, the wonderful blessings that I experienced, and my marvelous family. I was born on September 16, 1980, at the McKay D. Hospital in Ogden, Utah. A few weeks later, my parents and Dr. Wei noticed that I was having a few issues. I had sunset eyes and I did not wake up for my feedings. My head was larger than normal. I was referred to a neurosurgeon, Dr. Glenn Church. After some testing, I was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor and was given a few months to live. He told my parents that children with an ectodermal tumor of childhood had never lived more than a few years, and that it was extremely rare for newborns to have this type of tumor. Within a few weeks, I had a CT scan, x-rays, and a brain biopsy. In addition to my malignant brain tumor, I was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. About one-third of my brain did not develop because of this condition. The tumor was not encapsulated and could not be removed surgically, therefore I ended up receiving radiation therapy which ended up destroying the tumor. However, this caused my head to be much smaller than normal. I had to have a shunt inserted to the center of my brain to allow the excess fluid to drain into my abdomen. The doctors told my parents that I would be blind and would not be able to speak. However, after much fasting and many prayers from my family and the members of our ward, not only did I live to be 25 years old, I was able to see quite well and learn to speak several hundred words and communicate with others. I was able to bless the lives of my family for nearly 26 years. The following is a pictorial history of my life that I hope everyone will enjoy. My parents were Clive and Pam Ingram and were living in Roy, Utah when I was born. This photo was taken at their wedding reception at the White House Reception Center in Ogden, Utah. My sister Sherry is my oldest sibling, and I loved her very much. She always took very good care of me. I also have three brothers. The oldest is Clive. He is also known as CJ. Shad is my second oldest brother, and we had a lot of fun together. In this photo, he is riding on the back of my wheelchair, going down a hill in Yellowstone National Park at the Norris Geyser Basin. My brother Rick is my youngest youngest. They were so very nice to me. They played with me all the time and got me to laugh a lot. I enjoyed them and loved all of them so much. Let me tell you about the time that I graduated from the Ogden School for the Deaf and Blind. I was wearing my white cap and gown, however, I never did like anything on my head, so I tossed it before the ceremony. This is a photo of my mom and dad, my grandmothers, Pat and Eleanor, and my brother Rick and his wife Lara. If you will look closely at my graduation photo, you will not see my cap, as I tossed it away. My very best friend in the whole wide world was my mother Pam. She loved me so very much and took care of all my needs. She spent many hours every day helping me to eat and to exercise by putting me through range of motions every morning and evening. I was not always happy when exercising, and I would bite my wrist when I got upset. In this photo, I am in my exercise standing table. This was not my favorite activity. This is a photo of my parents and my three brothers and my sister Sherry, along with their spouses and their children. Notice that Katrina and I are in the upper left corner of the photo as we have passed on, and we are both now with our Father in Heaven and are living in His presence. This is me with my Grandpa Jones. I loved Christmas ANS. This is me with Santa Claus. Sherry and I. Me with a grumpy face. Here I am happy. Me and my siblings. My dad and I at a soccer game. Mom and I at Christmas. Halloween. My Grandpa Jones and me. My Grandma Jones and me. Here I am at Big Rock Candy Mountain in Utah. I actually put a few tiny rocks in my mouth, and my parents had to remove them before I swallowed them. Dot yuck.